everyone and welcome back to the channel so um, I just checked my YouTube and it's been a couple of months since I last did a haul for you guys um, I'm not doing the monthly now because I'm only getting well looking at this pile I say I'm only getting sort of odds and ends um, but I've accumulated quite a bit since my last video so I should get straight into it because we could be here a while um, if I've shown you any of these things before I do apologize um, I literally cannot remember what I bought in what month um, I did cross-reference my August haul to see if I've shown you any of these and I don't think I have but again if I have just skip it or whatever <laughs> so the first thing I have here I've been keeping these to one side specifically for this video and I've had them like a month now. So me and hubby placed a little cult pens order. Um, I do need to message them because unfortunately this Derwent pastel pencil in coral. I decided to go for a few skin tones because I love these. Um, is not the length that the others are because it arrived broken and I sharpened it and it broke and I sharpened it and it broke <laughs> so I'm guessing it's sort of broken all the way down the core um, and was there another one you might I think it was this one but you can't see it now because I've um, tried to rectify it but the the sharpener actually broke the pencil and that's my dial 133 and that doesn't break anything so yeah so anyway I got some Derwent pastel pencils like I said I went for skin tones because I want to practice skin tones with these so I went for pale pink P180 that's that one I went for coral P190 um, flesh P150 and tan P570 so that's those I also picked up some more luminance and I haven't even used these yet because I've been set to one side so um, I own like 10 luminance or something nothing great um, I did pick up one of the new pencil blender Caran d'Ache blenders Again, haven't used it yet. Um, I'm really not using blenders that much these days. I'm sort of, you know, I don't know. I must be layering my pencils differently or colouring differently. But I was having a conversation with um, Lynn the other day about not really needing a blender pencil anymore. Um, and then I bought, I, I really dislike where... The names of these are um, olive yellow 015 and that's to go with my other two greens I have to make a blend then we have here dark flesh 5% and light flesh 10% and again these are to go with my current luminance skin tones I already have we then have a Jelly Roll Stardust Clear. Um, I did want the Jelly Roll Glaze Clear, but they didn't have one at the time of ordering. So I was like, let's try one of these instead. This is my first Jelly Roll Stardust and it's really nice. Uh, I also have a Jelly Roll 1.0. Um, you know your box standard white jelly roll. I only had a 0 0.8 so I thought I would try the 1.0 because I don't like how the 0 0.8 keeps cutting out. Um, Colouring with K always recommends these Uniball Signo sparkling pens. I did want the silver as well but alas that was out of stock when I went to order. Just means I get to order again sometime. <laughs> But I did pick up the gold and it is very sparkly. I don't know whether it will show on a pink post-it note, but it 
Let's see if I can get that to show for you guys. There we go. So it is very sparkly indeed. Um, if you wanted to see the glitter roll, a uh, glitter roll, the jelly roll moonlight. And I'll do a little squiggle with this. And this is again the clear, but it's it's really pretty. And again, it's going to show pink because I did it on a pink post-it note, but you get the idea. Um, usually when I order from Colt Pens, I type in sample because more often than not they have different samples of things on there like Derwent, um, paints and things and this time I picked up the Style Fine marker um, they had two options but you don't get to pick which one you get, it's just potluck uh, I was really hoping to get the flesh tone colour but sadly I got the pink but never mind, it was 50 pence so you cannot grumble at that so this is 450 pale purple and we have a fine bullet end and your standard chisel so. nice and juicy, nice and bold can't really tell what colour it is on pink post-it note paper but you know <laughs> So that is that one. And then I got some more polychromos and still haven't reached full set syndrome yet, but we're getting closer. I need about 25 more before I'm there. So I picked up the colours Cap at Mortem in 169, in 169, number 169, <laughs> Delft Blue 141. Hooker's Green, 159, uh, Middle Thalo Blue, 152, and Earth Green, 172. And that was, I picked these ones just to fill in the gaps that I had in my chart. And that is my Colt Pens order. So these can finally be put into their proper homes. Okay, next. While I was on holiday in, hmm, my last holiday, whenever that was, um, I put these in my basket on on uh, eBay. They were not twenty four pound ninety nine. They were listed for about twelve pounds or something, and I left them in my basket for a week or so and. Again, they reduce the cost of them, which seems to be a thing on eBay at the moment. If you leave it in your basket for a week or two, they send you like a slight money off thing so you can get them slightly cheaper. But I watched a review on Frugal Crafter Lindsay's uh, YouTube. I always watch her um, like hauls, swatches, etc. reviews because I really trust and value her opinion on products and she was actually talking about the Prima watercolours which I've wanted for ages but they're like £25 a tin for 12 colours and she actually said in her video that the Prima watercolours were actually made by the Mungio um, brand and that some of the ones that are in here are in the Prima tin. So I was like, well, I'll opt for the tin of 24 colours that's only like £10. And get some of those colours instead. Not that I need more watercolours, but hey. So these are the Mungio 24 professional watercolours. You can pick these up in the range, but again, if you do... They are £24.99, so I, was, I would suggest going to eBay because they also have the 12 set of pastel colours for like £10, which I will also be buying at some point. So here are all the colours. We have white, lemon yellow, yellow, orange, vermilion, permanent red, 
permanent rose, cold pink, light red, burnt sienna, yellow oak, naples yellow, yellow green, cadmium green, light viridian, malachite green, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, prussian blue, permanent violet, olive green, olive brown, van dyke brown and black. So if I show you the back of the tin here, you can see the colours. And I will be doing a separate swatch video of these. So if you want to know what they're like, do make sure to look out for that and come back. So as I said, they are on eBay for like £12. But if you leave them in your basket, you get them for around £10. And I can't wait to try them. Okay, next, recently... I've been using my Brute Funa squares so much and absolutely loving them. These are now my new favourite pencils. I just get on with them. I've never had any problems with them. Um, and I noticed because I was using my others a lot, I was really shortening some of them. So whilst they were on offer on Amazon for like £18 or something, I grabbed another tin. Technically, it was meant to be a deal with my hubby that he would have the older set and I would have the newer set. But I said to him, why don't we just share and then, you know, kill one tin off first and then kill the other tin off rather than killing two tins at once, if that makes sense. So the only difference with these ones to my first set is my first set were matte and these are shiny there is no difference whatsoever in the pigment in the lead anything just that the coating is a gloss instead of a matte finish but yep yeah, you get three trays of yumminess they smell amazing and i can now use my older set knowing that I have a backup set waiting to go and I will also probably be putting another set on my Christmas list too just to make sure I have a plentiful supply. Next we have Chameleon Colour Tones. Someone on Facebook Marketplace had these listed for £20 or £15 or something like that. And these retail for like £60, £70 pounds for the 22 set. So I grabbed them and was so happy that I did. So you get like a presentation box. She said they'd only been used a couple of times, which I'm fine with. Get a little booklet about sort of the blends you can get depending on how long you leave the pen in the um, blending chamber if you guys know your pens I'm sure you know about chameleons by now and this folds back and then you can pop it up on your desk like so hopefully you can see that but yeah it sits up like that and you also get a spare colourless blender and a spare black detailer so that is that set. If you want swatches of any of the colouring supplies that I have, let me know and I will gladly do a video on that for you guys. Next we have Mind Summer Spicer Gang. I may have mentioned this in a previous video. Um, I contacted Chelsea on Instagram, um, Chelsea Jade Murray Colouring, because she said she was intimidated by this book and... Um, was intimidated by this page and this is one of the pages that I really wanted to do in this book as you can see I've not yet finished it um, I took this when I went on holiday so September 22nd and started it using my Arteza Expert pencils but have, like I said I've not finished it yet because of Halloween I've been focusing on my Halloween pages, but Chelsea, I will finish this when I can get around to it, hun. And I'm also doing a buddy colour with Kate in here from Kate's Colouring Haven. Um, this one I'm doing in watercolour paints. 
and it is a double page spread but I think I'm just going to do this half so I haven't got that much more to do and I started this on the 3rd of September with Pabio watercolours and I did gesso the page first which is why the paper is a little bit bendy um, I know Kate hasn't finished hers yet so we're sort of not in a rush to finish it which has taken our time so that is Mine Summer Spicer Gang by Rita Berman and yeah I'm sure you guys have, have seen this by now, it's, it's quite an older one of Rita's. Next we have the watercolour workbook, 30 minute beginner botanical projects on premium watercolour paper by Sarah Simon. And this I watched quite a few reviews on before I decided to buy it. So you get all your introduction and whatnot in the front. And what she does is she makes recipes. So these are the colours that she uses throughout the book. Mine kind of don't match up um, completely, but, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, and then if you can't or don't want to buy the perylene maroon or the perylene violet um, colours, these, because uh, they're a bit more expensive, she does show you a recipe on how to make them with generic colours um, and it's, it's really handy like that. So I'll show you this first page of me butchering, you know, my wet on wet technique. Um, I've got wet on dry to do next. But. Yep. See, for all of the, you guys that say to me, oh, you're really good at watercolours. Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> I am still a beginner and still learning myself but um, this is something else that I want to fill in quite soon this teaches you all the recipes so you mix 90% white with 10% yellow ochre and it makes buff so on and so forth all through the book and it's on really really nice watercolour cardstock as well and then you get into the projects she gives you the colour palette here the colour recipes are down here so you know how to make these colours and if you filled it in you can just cross reference your recipe pages but yep yeah, there are lots of different florals and leaves etc to do on here as you can see so that is that book, and I can't remember how much it was um, off the top of my head. I would imagine like £15 or something, but don't quote me on it. But yep, yeah, that is a watercolour workbook. Next, I placed an order with Book Depository because back in... September I want to say they had 10% off Korean colouring books and if you don't know how to navigate their website there is a section on there where you can browse books by language so you click on that and then scroll down to either Japanese or Korean etc and they've got a really nice selection now of colouring books that are harder for us get hold of um, you know the Etsy books that you have to pay extortionate prices for so this one is called girls with flowers I believe and I got all these for about 30 pounds or something 28 for all of them and I got three books so it's one of those books where you've got the sample image on the left and then you can try and recreate it on the right which I'm really enjoying at the moment since buying the Draw a Lovely You book which you'll have seen in some of my other videos but some of the images in here like ones like this you have to sort of keep flipping so you can see what you're meant to be copying if you want to colour it that way but oh, some of the images in here are just stunning I love the art style. But yeah, 
again if you want me to do a flip through or anything on here let me know this one's getting a bit squished at the back please don't do that but that folds out into this gorgeous larger picture let's tuck that back in there so that was the first book I got in my book depository haul the next one I got was Girls With Music, I think this is, Momo Girl. And you get some little art prints in here, which is a nice little touch. And this is a really nice thick book with, um, look at these, they're just stunning. Getting more into sort of wanting to do portraiture now and trying to learn my skin tones a bit more, etc. But it shows you sort of a mini catalogue of the images that are in here, how they've been coloured, different examples, and then it gets into the pictures. They are grayscaled, but they're light grayscale. Um, some of it's a bit darker, but as I said, really nice weighted paper and yeah I can't wait to have a play in here I don't think it will be until after Christmas now but I'm okay with that I've got new books for the new year but I'll just give you a little flip through I did want to get to this book for Halloween because there's a picture in the back I wanted to do which was this one and I also liked the look of this one and there was one more oops which was oh it's the same one again but yeah you get the gist but it's okay, I didn't get to it this year, you know. I can colour it next year or any time really. And the third book I got from the Book Depository Hall was Forest Girl by Apol. This is the first one, I believe. And yeah, can you believe I got all three of these books for like £30? One of these books would have cost me £40 on Etsy just for one with postage. And I got all three for 30 with free delivery. So, oh. again, this is another um, book where you can look at the image and then try to recreate it. I really like some of these ones, like the kitchen. I like colouring little knickknacks and things. Imagine colouring all those books in. <laughs> Could be there a while. It's a really light grayscale type artwork. Love this one. And again, I probably won't get to this until next year unless there's some Christmassy images in here. Um, I will flick through before Christmas through all my books to see what I want to do. Um, next we have Mine Research Europa by Rita Berman. Um, everyone who's anyone has pretty much got this book. Um, if you watch Imogen at Colouring Kid, she has done this double page spread and it is so beautiful. Imogen, you did an amazing job on that, hun. As with all of your pictures, <laughs> it just never ceases to amaze me how your blending is so smooth and... Oh, I love it. But again, another gorgeous book by Rita Berman. This is possibly one of my favourites of hers. And yeah, I definitely want to be trying some watercolouring in here. Probably wouldn't recommend it without gesso or like acrylic, uh, not acrylic, glazing fluid. You know what I mean. Prep your page basically before you paint on it. But yeah, that is Mine Reach Dirt Europa. Next we have Creative Haven's Unicorn Wonders 
by Marjorie Sarnat. I pre-ordered this months ago. It may have even been last year. Basically, as soon as I saw that it was coming out, I pre-ordered it. Um, sort of weekly, fortnightly, what have you. I do go on Amazon and type in sort of my favourite kind of things like Marjorie Sarnat, Teresa Goodridge, etc. Use the little drop down menu on the right where it says, you know, like price, high, low, blah, blah, blah. And change it to newest arrivals and then you see the pre-orders. So that is, I I always have pre-orders in my wish list. It's, it's there as a reminder for me to pre-order them or sometimes they're in there to wait and see you know if someone else does a flip through whether I want to buy it or not but the the artwork on this is just it's Marjorie Sarnat it's stunning and who doesn't want a zebra corn you know look imagine that done as like a stained glass background you could even I, oh, that would be so nice in like blues and silvers. I might have to do that in, at Christmas. Okay, but yeah, that is Unicorn Wonders by Marjorie Sarnat. Sticking with Creative Haven, we have Enchanted Christmas Colouring Book by Teresa Goodridge. And as soon as I saw a flip through of this, I was like, yep. I do have not last year's but the year before's of Teresa's and I adore it and I can't wait to colour in here and paint in here at Christmas um, look at this oh it's so cute there is a couple of pictures I definitely definitely want to get done this Christmas this being one of them but look, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it. Oh my, mm. Teresa, I love your art. This one I love. Might have to do that one. There's just not enough hours in the days to colour all these beautiful images. Love that. Bright red door has to be done. I think there was another one in here as well. This one, love that. But, yeah, Teresa Goodridge, Enchanted Christmas, you need it. You need it. <laughs> Camellia Angel Cova, another one of my favourite artists. I absolutely love these miniature books and I have every single one because it has to be done. They're like £3 something, why wouldn't you want to buy it? So this is Safari Miniatures. And I mean, who doesn't want a mouse riding a zebra? They're quick, they're easy, you know, if you just want to put colour to a page, add a little bit of shading, some glitter gel pen, and you guys know how much I love colouring in these books, and they're great for buddy colours. Um, 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cover, again, absolutely adorable. I'm really hoping she brings out a 50 Christmas miniatures because, ugh, Camellia, you would have my heart. It would just be like the perfect end to your colouring year. But yeah, they are Camellias and I have one more Camellia, which is obviously 50 Halloween miniatures by Camellia in your cover. And I've done a couple of buddy colours in here this month spoiler alert <laughs> but you can see those on my complete pages and I just wish I had more time in here this month to do more of these pages but when you see my completed pages and one of the the pages in particular you'll see why I've not gotten around to doing many others Next we have our Colouring Heavens. I'm a subscriber to Colouring Heaven. Please do check out my Instagram. I'll be posting on there in a couple of days, um, if I haven't already, when you've seen this. Myself and the lovely Shell at Shell Artie. I will leave her link in the description below. 
are doing a hashtag for the month of November which is colour me heavenly so hashtag colour me heavenly and all you have to do is dust off your old or new colouring heaven magazines that get sort of pushed to one side because we get other goodies come in and it's just about showing them some love because if you're like me and you're a subscriber you probably have a stack of these that may not get touched um, as much as you'd like to so let's pull them out get some pages done in them and show them some love again another spoiler I've done a page in here this month and oh no these these flags are ones that my hubby wants me to uh, scan for him so that is the Halloween special and then a couple of days ago the Christmas special landed on my doorstep so I'm excited to see what we're going to get in December because this is November's edition but there's some really cute images in here I really like these ones by Fabrica Fantasy they're probably my favourite ones in the book love this one um, some of them uh, you know when they do these compilations I'm not so thrilled about them because there's always some in there that I don't like um, but yeah these ones I've already got anyway the Hannah Lynn because I have the book but yeah that is the Christmas special by Colouring Heaven Next I have a little bit of happy mail from the lovely Lily over at Art Journey UK. Yes, I remembered it. I always get Lily's channel name mixed up with another A channel name and uh, it drives me bonkers. But um, again, I'll leave Lily's channel linked below. She's an amazing lady. Go check her out. She does group um, live streams on a Saturday at 2 p.m. and they're really fun to join. There's like five, six, or more of us all get together, and Lily hosts it, and we just have a laugh, do some reminiscing, just a good old chat while we're coloring, you know. But bless her heart, she went on holiday for I think it's her anniversary or her birthday. Was it her birthday? Anyway, she went into the range and the works and, you know, all the good shops we have in the UK and picked up some of these books for herself. Um, she usually buys some for her mum and her brother as well. And bless her heart, she thought of me and picked me up these two books and then mentioned me in a video and was like, Zoe, if you would like these, give me a message and I'll send them over to you and I was like oh my gosh just like you know you could cry kind of thing because someone's taken the time out of their day to think of you and it really did you know melt my heart that that she'd thought of me so thank you so much Lily you are a gem and these are gorgeous I cannot wait to watercolor in them So this one is embossed sketch colouring book. They don't have like specific names, they're just called embossed sketch colouring books. But this one has a cheetah on the front. And this one is sort of houses, cottages and things, which is right up my alley. So is animals. But we've got beach scenes, leaves birds like parakeets oh imagine these watercolored though they look so pretty and I think there was like two of each image and I can't really show you I don't think but they are raised they're embossed so it's going to be really interesting to try and paint on them but yeah I cannot wait to have a play so this is the cottage one Again, will look stunning done in watercolours. 
and I may actually depending on when I get this video up on Saturday the 30th of October um, I'm hoping to join Lily's live stream over on her channel and I may play around and paint with one on one of these with my new paints so if I post this video before then do make sure to go over to Lily's channel um, on Saturday if you want to see me playing in these love this one so cute it's like a villa I mean don't you just wish you could live in half of these places and back to the start again so again Lily bless your heart thank you so much for thinking of me Mwah, I love you you are a gem and last but by no means least we have 150 adult uh, 150 mandalas adult coloring book by creative mandala now i am going to be doing a flip through and review on this book they reached out to me on instagram and said hey um we really like your coloring would you like to review or you know color in one of our books for us and tag us on instagram so i checked them out and i was like i like some of your books some others um, I wouldn't personally colour in um, and they said well we'd like you to colour in our new book if it appeals to you and they showed me and I was like oh my gosh yes it's mandalas yes 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 <laughs> and look at this chunky boy look at this chunky boy I will leave a link to this book down below because oh it's just look how chunky I love chunky monkey books but I have done one of them already. This was done with Ohuhu brush markers. You will see it in my completed pages. But I wanted to show you it anyway. And look how I match these colours up, guys. I mean, come on. That's pretty spot on, right? So I created this colour chart on... Uh, what is it called? Adobe Colour or something. Um, I can do a video showing you how I create my colour palettes if you like just leave me a message below but I've created a ton of sort of autumnal, Halloween and Disney themed colour palettes that I want to use when working in this book I did have them all set to one side no idea where they are to show you which is annoying but there are a variety of mandalas in here, some more complicated, some more zentangly, and then, you know, like some bigger ones. There's something for everyone in here, and I will touch more on that in my review. But yeah, I wanted to show you that. I'm just going to see if I can find my colour palettes I've made. Okay, so I found them. <laughs> Here they are. So what I did, like I said, was Googled some Disney images, some autumnal, some Halloween images, and put them into the Adobe Color Program online. And it automatically gives you like a color palette. And then there's loads of options down the side, whether you want bright colors, neutral colors, etc. Some of them, um, when they choose the colours automatically, I'm kind of like, mm, I wouldn't necessarily have chosen them colours. So you can go in and drag the little circles around to different parts of the picture to make the colours that you would rather as well. And then what I did after I got this 
was took it into some design software that I have on my computer and added in some boxes below so I could match my colours up. But yeah, we have a few Disney ones. I asked Miss Lynn to pick any Disney film and she picked Dumbo because she said the poor little elephant gets forgotten about. <laughs> so I made a set of four Dumbo ones. So different colour schemes, can't wait to try these in my mandala book, like so. Then we have a Tigger Halloween one, and another Mickey Mouse Halloween one. So yeah, really fun, I'm going to keep these in here because that's what I want to use them in. And that is everything that I have to show you guys. Um, I also got this. <laughs> this was from eBay. It's rubbing alcohol, 70%. And basically, I got this to try and revive my Ohuhu brush markers a bit. The ones that are drying out. And I've literally just put a couple of drops in. And sort of shook it down to the brush end. And now... They're a bit juicier again. I didn't want to put too much in because obviously the more liquid you put in, the lighter the colour's going to be and it's not going to match my swatch. So, yeah, but if I can get a couple of more uses out of my alcohol markers by putting a couple of drops of this in, then I recommend it. But thank you so much, guys, for joining me. This was quite a long-winded haul, so I hope you had a snack and a drink. <laughs> I should have mentioned that at the start. Um, we Can you believe we are now up to 955 subscribers? Thank you so much to everyone who has joined me over the last couple of colorathons. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> Sounds like a hotel, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I had quite a few of you join me from the Harry Potterathon and also the hashtag Festival of Colouring Frights. So welcome everyone. Welcome new friends. I hope you stay for the duration. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I will see you next in my completed pages video. Yes! Favourite time of the month. Until then, take care and a happy colouring everyone. Love to you all. Bye bye! But yep, yeah, they are camellias and I have one more camellia which is obviously 50 Halloween miniatures by Camellia Indulkova. And I've done a couple of buddy colours in here this month. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but you can see those on my complete pages. And I just wish I had more time in here this month to do more of these pages. But when you see my completed pages and one of the the pages in particular, you'll see why I've not gotten around to doing many others. Next we have our Colouring Heavens. I'm a subscriber to Colouring Heaven. Please do check out my Instagram. I'll be posting on there in a couple of days, um, if I haven't already, when you've seen this. Myself and the lovely Shell at Shell Artie. I will leave her link in the description below are doing a hashtag for the month of November which is colour me heavenly so hashtag colour me heavenly and all you have to do is dust off your old or new colouring heaven magazines that get sort of pushed to one side because we get other goodies come in and it's just about showing them some love because if you're like me and you're a subscriber you probably have a stack of these that may not get touched um, as much as you'd like to so let's pull them out get some pages done in them and show them some love again another spoiler I've done a page in here this month and oh no these 
these flags are ones that my hubby wants me to uh, scan for him. So that is the Halloween special. And then a couple of days ago, the Christmas special landed on my doorstep. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get in December because this is November's edition. But there's some really cute images in here. I really like these ones by Fabrica Fantasy. They're probably my favourite ones in the book. I love this one. Um, some of them, uh, you know, when they do these compilations, I'm not so thrilled about them because there's always some in there that I don't like. Um, but yeah, these ones I've already got anyway, the Hannah Lynn, because I have the book. But yeah, that is the Christmas special by Colouring Heaven. Next I have a little bit of happy mail from the lovely Lily over at Art Journey UK. Yes, I remembered it. I always get Lily's channel name mixed up with another A channel name and uh, it drives me bonkers. But um, again, I'll leave Lily's channel linked below. She's an amazing lady. Go check her out. She does group um, live streams on a Saturday at 2 p.m. and they're really fun to join. There's like five, six, or more of us all get together, and Lily hosts it, and we just have a laugh, do some reminiscing, just a good old chat while we're coloring, you know. But bless her heart, she went on holiday for I think it's her anniversary or her birthday. Was it her birthday? Anyway, she went into the range and the works and, you know, all the good shops we have in the UK and picked up some of these books for herself. Um, she usually buys some for her mum and her brother as well. And bless her heart, she thought of me and picked me up these two books and then mentioned me in a video and was like, Zoe, if you would like these, give me a message and I'll send them over to you and I was like oh my gosh just like you know you could cry kind of thing because someone's taken the time out of their day to think of you and it really did you know melt my heart that that she'd thought of me so thank you so much Lily you are a gem and these are gorgeous I cannot wait to watercolor in them So this one is embossed sketch colouring book. They don't have like specific names, they're just called embossed sketch colouring books. But this one has a cheetah on the front and this one is sort of houses, cottages and things. But we've got beach scenes, leaves, birds like parakeets. Oh, imagine these watercolour though, they look so pretty. And I think there was like two of each image. And I can't really show you, I don't think, but they are raised, they're embossed. So it's going to be really interesting to try and paint on them. But yeah, I cannot wait to have a play. So this is the cottage one. Again will look stunning done in watercolours and I may actually depending on when I get this video up on Saturday the 30th of October um, I'm hoping to join Lily's live stream over on her channel and I may play around and paint with one on one of these with my new paints so if I post this video before then, do make sure to go over to Lily's channel um, on Saturday if you want to see me playing in these. Love this one, so cute. It's like a villa. I mean, don't you just wish you could live in half of these places? And back to the start again. 
so again lily bless your heart thank you so much for thinking of me Mwah, i love you you are a gem and last but by no means least we have 150 adult uh, 150 mandalas adult coloring book by creative mandala now i am going to be doing a flip through and review on this book they reached out to me on instagram and said hey um we really like your coloring would you like to review or you know color in one of our books for us and tag us on instagram so i checked them out um, and they said well we'd like you to color in our new book if it appeals to you and they showed me and i was like oh my gosh yes it's mandalas yes 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 <laughs> and look at this chunky boy look at this chunky boy i will leave a link to this book down below because oh it's just look how chunky i love chunky monkey books but i have done one of them already this was done with ohuhu brush markers you will see it in my completed pages but i wanted to show you it anyway and look how i match these colors up guys i mean come on that's pretty spot on right so i created this color chart on uh what is it called adobe color or something um i can do a video showing you how i create my color palettes if you like just leave me a message below but I've created a ton of sort of autumnal, Halloween and Disney themed colour palettes that I want to use when working in this book. I did have them all set to one side. No idea where they are to show you, which is annoying. But there are a variety of mandalas in here. Some more complicated, some more zentangly. And then, you know, like some bigger ones there's something for everyone in here and i will touch more on that in my review but yeah i wanted to show you that i'm just gonna see if i can find my color palettes i've made okay so i found them <laughs> here they are so what i did like i said was googled some disney images some autumnal some halloween images and put them into the Adobe Color Program online and it automatically gives you like a color palette and then there's loads of options down the side whether you want bright colors, neutral colors, etc. Some of them, um, when they choose the colors automatically, I'm kind of like, mm, I wouldn't necessarily have chosen them colors. So you can go in and drag the little circles around to different parts of the picture to make the colours that you would rather as well and then what I did after I got this was took it into some design software that I have on my computer and added in some boxes below so I could match my colours up but yeah we have a few Disney ones I asked Miss Lynn to pick any Disney film and she picked Dumbo because she said the poor little elephant gets forgotten about <laughs> so I made a set of four Dumbo ones so different colour schemes can't wait to try these in my mandala book like so then we have a Tigger Halloween one and another Mickey Mouse Halloween one. So yeah, really fun. I'm going to keep these in here because that's what I want to use them in. And that is everything that I have to show you guys. Um, I also got this. <laughs> this was from eBay. It's rubbing alcohol, 70%. And basically I got this to try and revive my Ohuhu brush markers a bit. The ones that are drying out. And I've literally just put a couple of drops in and sort of shook it down to the brush end. And now they're a bit juicier again. I didn't want to put too much in because obviously the more liquid you put in, the lighter the colour's going to be. And it's not going to match my swatch. 
So, yeah, but if I can get a couple of more uses out of my alcohol markers by putting a couple of drops of this in, then I recommend it. But thank you so much, guys, for joining me. This was quite a long-winded haul, so I hope you had a snack and a drink. <laughs> I should have mentioned that at the start. We Can you believe we are now up to 955 subscribers? Thank you so much to everyone who has joined me over the last couple of colorathons. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> Sounds like a hotel, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, I had quite a few of you join me from the Harry Potterathon and also the hashtag Festival of Colouring Frights. So welcome everyone, welcome new friends. I hope you stay for the duration. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you next in my completed pages video. Yes, favourite time of the month. Until then, take care and happy colouring everyone. Love to you all. Bye bye.